An NBC 10 I team exclusive tonight. More pot, more problems. Medical marijuana has been legal in Rhode Island since 2006. More than 10,000 patients and caregivers carry cards. They use it to alleviate symptoms of cancer, AIDS, glaucoma, and other illnesses. And yet the I team learns that more and more criminals are using the legal drug cards for illegal operations. The I team's Katie Davis investigates now how the police say drug dealers are cashing in. After row of pot plants filling every room of this small house in quiet little Compton, a big marijuana grow in Rhode Island's smallest town, set up, police say, by two men from Massachusetts. Just about every single room in the house had some type of either marijuana growing in it or drying. One of the suspects had a Rhode Island medical marijuana caregiver card, allowing him to legally grow pot for a sick friend or relative. But the hundreds of plants found in two homes here went way beyond what the law allows. The suspects allegedly looking not for medicine, but for a profit. Uh, there are plenty of people out there that are circumventing the medical marijuana laws uh, for personal gain. Then there was this bust uncovering 19 pounds of packaged marijuana and just under 100 mature plants in Hopkinton, along with medical marijuana cards. Captain Kevin O'Brien says it's a pattern officers all over Rhode Island are seeing, with state police logging at least 10 busts involving medical marijuana cards in the past 18 months. The amount that they're growing in, in certain instances um, far exceeds the demand for medical marijuana patients. So where's all that extra marijuana going? Another problem, the high level of secrecy surrounding the program due to privacy concerns. Right now, the only state agency that can check whether someone has a valid card is the health department. Police say when they knock on the door of a suspected grow house, there's often no way to know for certain if the person inside is a legitimate patient or a drug dealer. Uh, we don't know who the good guys and the bad guys are. We need to really make the system better. Attorney General Peter Kilmartin is backing a bill aimed at tightening up the law. Kilmartin wants to close a loophole that doesn't require a national background check, meaning out-of-state convictions won't show up as a red flag. We just want to keep uh, those with drug convictions away from the program for obvious reasons. Joanne Lepinen leads the Rhode Island Patient Advocacy Coalition, known as RIPAC, a group that supports medical marijuana patients. Is it frustrating for you that there are drug dealers who are abusing this program? It's very frustrating that anybody would exploit this program. It has literally maintained the lives of people who otherwise would not be with us today. She says the recent busts represent a small fraction of people in the program. There are about 7,600 patients and 3,500 caregivers statewide, but only five have ever had their cards revoked. Most patients, she says, are following the law. The medical marijuana program creates a safe harbor for people who are licensed and live within the limits of that program. If they step out of that safe harbor, they are no longer protected. Backers hope to pass the bill this year, now in the House Judiciary Committee. Katie Davis, NBC 10 News. All right, remember now, if you have a story for the I-Team, call our Fraud and Waste Hotline, 401-455-9123, or send an email in to the I-Team at WJAR.com.